weather. Got it. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Okay. Hold on a sec. Okay. Good luck. I come from a village of Night Eaters. We're a long-lived people, much longer lived than ordinary humans by far. However, our reproductive abilities are spotty. We're rarely blessed with children, and our numbers are dwindling. Neighboring villages have forgotten we even exist. Most of us have simply accepted that as our fate and gone on with our lives. <laughs> but not Soga. He tried to rally the people of the village into actively pursuing some means of keeping the Night Eater legacy alive. Unfortunately for him, no one was interested. I think they'd all given up by that point. The last Night Eater to be born was Ren, and that was over 150 years ago. Well, <laughs> the jury's still out on the exact time frame there. Then, about two years ago, Soga disappeared. Rather suddenly at that, it's as if he decided his ruined kin were no longer worth his time, so he turned his back on us and left. Hold up. Are you seriously telling me Rin is over 150 years old? What does that make you, then? <laughs> My official age is 15, thank you very much. Thank you. 
I was born about 20 years before Rin, I believe. Though, when you live as long as we do, you stop keeping track after a while. Yeah, my mind's kind of blown right now. I thought you were both young girl characters, but I guess you're actually older woman characters. Don't define people by their appearances. Mm, back on topic. Do you know what this Soga person's doing in Akiba? Or why he's gotten involved with the Synthesters? We've been Synthester hunters since the very beginning. But we've had no Synthesters to hunt for at least the past hundred years. Because of that, most of us essentially stopped thinking about them and forgot what they were capable of. So, when the cursed things came crawling out here, I started wondering, could our missing brother have something to do with it? That's when I wrote that nasty letter to keep Shizuku away, then skipped town to find out. Causing me minor trauma in the process. <sighs> Regrettably, it seems Rin's intuition was right on the mark. Soga is the one pulling the strings here, without question. So if we do something about him, that'll take care of the Synthesters too? That seems likely, yes. Big Brother's not the only one who's gotten himself caught up in this mess, though. Daishi Hun Pharmaceuticals definitely has their nose in this, too. Not sure how deep they go, but still. Hmm. There are other questions as well. Such as, why is this only occurring in Akiba? And why have no other locations been targeted? That is a very good question. Maybe it is happening in other places. It could be. Well, if it is, nobody's talking about it on Pitter. I've only been seeing clips about monsters in Akiba. Well, how about that? A real secret society trying to pull some evil plan on Japan. Not Japan, just Akiba. The question remains, why has Soga come here? And why is this town the only place he's targeted? If we can answer these questions, we might be able to get to the heart of the matter. Well, either way, we've still got a long road ahead of us. Maybe now we know who the bad guy is, but that don't exactly solve the problem, know what I mean? Remember, the streets of Akiba are still crawling with those damn Synthesters. Yeah, I agree. We can't rush things. We're freedom fighters. We've got a job to do, and we've got to do it right. Right? So, guess we better get back to patrolling, since there ain't too many other options. Good luck to everybody! Safe returns! Okay, sis, you're with me. Sure, let's go. You bet! Yes! You could see it in her eyes. She just wanted to go out and play with her big sis. She wasn't gonna take no for an answer. I don't think they will patrol very successfully. But it looked like Shizuku was happy about it. Well, the two of them have been apart for a while now. I suspect that was Shizuku's natural personality coming out for some fresh air. Oh, I know! How about you go on patrol with your little sister too? That's not how this works. Then how about you go on patrol with your big brother, little sister? Now you're just babbling. Well then, how about you come on patrol with your old pal Kaito? I've been thinking about this for a while. I'll be the brains of the operation and you can be the brawn. We'd make a perfect team, don't you think? Hmm. <sighs> I'm not seeing the brains there. You're both meatheads. Yeah, what she said. It'd be piling stupid on stupid. It could only end in tragedy. What? Well, I never. I am shocked. You hear me? Shocked! Balance-wise, I think Robocop and Toko would make the best team. All right, all right. I guess I can tag along with you for a bit. What the hell? No smart-ass comeback? What gives? I hope you don't think I'm gonna treat you to food or anything just because you're being nice. Dude, just get your stuff in order. We're going. We'll take Main Street, I guess. Come on, let's get moving.
Please, come visit us. Here, have a flyer, Master. You know, the more I step back and look around, the more I realize how much Akiba's changed. I mean, it probably started with the maids handing out flyers a few years back, but still. The girls around here are all super cute now. They almost look like they could be in a stage show or something. Sure, you'll occasionally see a flyer girl who seems really sketchy and, like, schoolgirl prostitute-y. But for the most part, everybody's just damned beautiful. Even the freedom fighters are like a talent agency these days, with all our cute girls. Oh, no, I'm not trying to be egotistical or anything. I don't mean me. I'm talking about Shizuku and Rin and Kati. Being surrounded by girls like them all the time has really got me thinking. Wondering if maybe I should... I don't know. Act a little more girly? What do you think? Do you... like... girly girls? <sighs> Come on, don't just stand there staring blankly. Say something, and be honest. Excuse me, master and mistress? <gasps> you're... you're that maid. Did you need something? I'm sorry to have eavesdropped, but did I hear correctly that you two are part of the Akiba Freedom Fighters? Well, yeah, we are, but... How do you even know what an Akiba Freedom Fighter is? <laughs> because there's a price on your heads! What? I'm going to take my medicine, too, so I can put everything I've got into this fight. Uh, what the hell? I can feel... The power flowing through me. Please do come here. Uh, help! I'm so very sorry, but in order to get you where I want you, I'm forced to drag Mistress away. Uh, let go of me! What a lovely young lady, so self-assured, and yet so lacking in physical strength. It seemed as if you two were having a very important conversation when I showed up, Master. Well, you're free to continue it. In hell! Oh, really? What is wrong with these people? Let's go! <laughs>
in my feet. Take this. Come on, let's do this. Okay. Wow, that was a close one. I seriously had no idea how that was going to end. And what was that drug they were using? That flyer maid said there was a price on our heads, too. Guess we must be a real threat if they're trying to hunt us down now. <sighs> whoa, 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 what's wrong? Did you get hurt? You look seriously pale right now, and you're not walking straight. Do you... need to lean on my shoulder? If you feel like crap, you better not be trying to hide it. Just tell me, okay? Don't hold back on my account. You know, it's funny, but you've turned into, like, a really dependable person. You've just grown up, I guess. Matured into a real man or an older boy anyway uh. oh i almost forgot thank you for saving me i remember when you used to get beat up as a kid and i'd be the one saving your ass now that the tables have turned i'm really not sure how i feel about that hmm? got an email your cell's going off too yudo's calling us back to mogra I'm guessing you got the same message? Come on, let's go see what's up. <laughs> 